Okay, I think we're going to get started. Um, and welcome to the Sonic Summit here uh, at the Open Source Summit here in lovely Vancouver. Uh, the interesting part is um, we have over 350 registered online. So people still like to stay home, I think. <laughs> but for those of you who are here, it will be a very uh, different and more interesting mingling experience. You can ask questions. We have the top community people speaking. Uh, but for the speakers in the room, you know, we're broadcasting, I think, 300, 350, uh, whatever the number is. Uh, OK. So with that, let, let's go ahead and get started. My name is Arpit Jashpara. I head up Open Source Networking Edge at, at the Linux Foundation here. Uh, welcome to this uh, update session. Um, we have a very interesting agenda, but I wanted to sort of baseline everybody on where we are. So take a step above Sonic, right? So Linux Foundation, for those of you who are online and don't know what LF is all about, it's well beyond Linux these days. And of course it is attacking, you know, disruptions for technology. It's solving problems in the marketplace community, right? So things like security, things like networking, things like cloud, automotive, right? Films, hardware, software, right? All happening through what is called sub-foundations here at the Linux Foundation. And uh, it is interesting to note that no foundation or sub-foundation is in isolation, okay? There are collaborations happening between the various networking projects. There are collaborations happening between cloud and networking. There are collaborations happening between networking and edge and IoT. Um, there are collaborations happening between security and networking. So the reason I wanted to put this up is while we may all be focused on Sonic, there are projects and sub-foundations outside Sonic that you may want to look at and be part of because it is it solves the whole end-to-end -end, uh, solution, okay? And what do I mean by end-to-end? -end? Uh, this is one of the most popular diagrams for the past several kind of conferences, right? But if you look at, and this covers all of it almost, if you look at use cases across the mobile networks, across the residential fixed broadband networks, or across small, medium business and enterprises on the left, eventually you end up coming into an edge network, whether it's a user edge or a service provider edge, it doesn't matter. Some version of a cloud up the stack into a NOS, right? And now you could have a NOS sitting in a site router somewhere as well. I'm not showing, like it's not a very accurate depiction of, of the of the code, but you move up the stack, uh, go into a data plane, you know, infrastructure, uh, you know, above the forwarding plane, into things like DPD, KFT, IO, uh, move into Kubernetes, and then you have a control plane, uh, like an open daylight, uh, up into an orchestration plane, like an own app or a Nephew, and then move into the apps layer, right, uh, through APIs, whether it's a telco app through Kamara or, um, CNFs that are running cloud native network functions that are running any applications or uh, application lifecycle management like Leaf, which is a, a you know a Walmart production software that does eBPF lifecycle management, right? And all of these are effectively kind of working with each other, collaborating with each other. The thing I want to emphasize for Sonic, right? Since we are sandwiched, right? At, it's disaggregated, so that's the good news. But since we are sandwiched between sort of the hardware and the application software, it is very important to listen on both sides, right? Hardware, ASICs, and software, and see what we can do to be ahead in the game. I would also point out that our sister sub-foundation, you know, Dent, uh, is also a NAS uh, that came through the Amazon um, uh, retail store. The great news there is they have just publicly announced um, in a couple of weeks ago at the OCP event that they are also supporting, you know, SAI. So SAI is becoming now a very standard sort of abstraction layer, which will help 
the silicon and the hardware vendors tremendously. Um, and, and of course, the features and the use cases may be different, which is very common in our networking space. But uh, effectively, this is what gets you the, the stack. Okay? And I'm not showing you know, P4 and things like that. But this, you get the general sense of you know, what we want to do with a NAS and how we want to move it forward. Okay? So um, with that, you know, Sonic is a very old, or one of the early on, I wouldn't say old, but one of the earliest open source projects. Uh, but we moved it to Linux Foundation about a year ago, and we just celebrated the one-year anniversary. Uh, even a press release came out, right? And uh, when, when we moved it over, and we did a blog on that. And it has been a very, very active project. If you want to see the participation of Sonic, you can go to uh, a platform tool called LFX, and then search for the project. You will see the developers. You will see the pull requests, you know, time between pull. It's a very detailed tool. But... The growth is tremendous. The community support is great. And to talk about all of that, um, you know, we have analysts like Adeloro that are, have started, you know, tracking and measuring the growth of these ports. Now, how accurate this will be, only time will tell. But they do get this data talking to vendors, end users, and uh, a lot of people who are in the community. So keep in mind, this is the first open source project that is being tracked at the port level. So it's very exciting times, right? But anytime you see a bar graph that is growing, you should feel happy. <laughs> That's how I see it, right? Whether it's 10x that or half of that, who cares, right? Anyway, so that's the current thinking. Um, the good news on the right-hand side, if you can see, uh, it's moving from not just the top four cloud service providers, but it's moving beyond that. And that's kind of what the mission of the governing board and you know thought process was like. How do we take this to more use cases? Okay, so that's kind of what we see. So with that, let's talk about all the community and all the community updates and where it is. So come on, Enchin. <laughs> 